The Majesty of St. Peter, a portrait by Studio of Sir Peter Paul Rubens. Studio of Sir Peter Paul Rubens, a group of artists who worked under the guidance and influence of the famous Flemish painter, created this magnificent portrait of St. Peter around 1614. St. Peter was one of the Twelve Apostles of Jesus Christ, and the first leader of the Christian Church. He is also known as the Prince of the Apostles and the Rock of the Church. He holds the keys of heaven in his right hand, symbolizing his authority and responsibility as the keeper of the gates of paradise. The portrait, which is now in the collection of the National Trust, is inspired by the series of twelve apostles that Rubens painted for the Duke of Lima, the Prime Minister of Spain, in the early 1610s. The series, which is now in the Prado Museum in Madrid, was a masterpiece of Baroque art, and a testament to Rubens' skill and style. Rubens used the ancient sculpture of Greece and Rome as his source of inspiration, and gave his figures a realistic and expressive appearance. The portrait of Saint Peter follows the same model as the portrait of Saint Philip in the Lemma series, with only the attributes changed. Saint Peter is shown from the waist up, facing to the right in profile. He wears a butterscotch gold robe that drapes around his strong body, and a white cloth around his neck. His hair and beard are silvery grey, and his face is pale and wrinkled. His eyes are hazel, and they look upward to the heavenly realm. He has a long nose, a pale pink mouth, and hollows under his high cheekbones. He is illuminated by a bright light from the upper left, which creates shadows and contrasts on his garment and features. The background is ink black, creating a dramatic effect and focusing the attention on the subject. The portrait of St. Peter is not only a remarkable work of art, but also a historical document that reveals the culture and society of the Catholic Counter-Reformation, a period of religious revival and reform in the 16th and 17th centuries. The Council of Trent, which was held between 1545 and 1563, reaffirmed the importance of saints as intercessors and models for the faithful. Images of the Twelve Apostles, who were the closest followers and witnesses of Jesus, were especially popular and widespread. They represented the foundations and origins of the Christian faith, and the continuity and unity of the Church. Studio of Sir Peter Paul Rubens, who followed the example and instruction of their master, captured the majesty and dignity of Saint Peter, the first and foremost of the Apostles. They used light and color to create a vivid and dynamic portrait that conveys the essence of his personality and status. They also used the classical forms and motifs of antiquity to give him an idealized and heroic appearance. They combined these elements with their own originality and creativity, and created a distinctive style that made them one of the most influential and prolific groups of artists of their time. Their portraits, in particular, are renowned for their realism, vitality, and richness. The portrait of Saint Peter is one of the many masterpieces that studio of Sir Peter Paul Rubens created during their career, and one of the finest examples of their portrait painting. It is a testament to their artistic skill, and to the majesty of Saint Peter and his era.